Most engagements happen sometime between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day, and the most popular month for engagements is December in the United States. It may look different in other countries. So I know there are a lot of folks planning to get married really soon. And you may be thinking about where you want to host your wedding, if you should have something local or have a destination wedding. So today I wanna to talk to you all about destination weddings and just a few tips, a few things to consider as you're choosing or thinking about a destination. So the first thing I think we should all think about as we think about any wedding, but certainly a destination wedding is the guest list. The guest list affects price, which we're gonna talk about in a moment, but I really want you to think about who you want at your wedding. If you live in the United States and your wedding is in Bali, there are some people that are just not going to be able to make it because they may not have a passport. They may not be able to travel that far. So. If you have a wedding closer to home, the likelihood of most of your family and friends, especially if they're close to home, making it is much higher than if it's far away. And I know some of you probably want to have the wedding far away because you may want the guest list to be a little bit smaller. Maybe you don't want some people at your wedding. That's okay too. But think about this because depending on the destination, it may be more or less challenging for some people to get to. So think about your guest list as you think about the location and think about who you really want to be at your wedding. Number two, and I kind of alluded to this before, thinking about costs, right? So not just the cost to you and your partner and those that may be paying for the wedding, but also those guests we just talked about from the guest list. Would the cost to get to the location be so prohibitive that most people can't make it? So think about that. Is it easy for people to get to that destination from where the majority of your friends and family live? There are some places really challenging to get to. You may have to fly there and then take a boat, then take something else, then take a really small plane. That's challenging and that may not be <laughs> for some people and it may be too costly. So think about those costs, think about where the wedding is located. Would you have to fly in a hairstylist or a makeup artist because it's in a really remote or obscure place that doesn't have a lot of options in terms of stylists to do your hair and makeup. Um, and especially for a lot of people of color, sometimes hairstylists and individuals that we need to do our hair and makeup. They may not be in certain countries. So these are all things to consider. Last but not least, location. Think about the season when you want to get married. So you may choose a location that is beautiful, beachy, white sands, all of that. But if you choose the rainy season, you're not going to get the beautiful beach and the white sands. You're gonna to get tons of rain and you won't be able to host the wedding outside. So when you identify your destination, look at the seasons, look at what's happening in that country at that time. Think about maybe festivals and all of that. Is that a really expensive time to go to that place? Is that a cheap time to go to that place? Think about that in your planning and your why for the destination. In my case, my husband and I have a joint heritage in a particular country, so I'll share where my wedding was at the very end. And we decided to have our wedding there because we wanted our friends and family to really experience our culture. And we had our wedding in November, as opposed to July, where it would be much hotter in this country. So we had it later in the year where things start to cool down. So think about the seasonality as you plan, especially if you know you want an outdoor wedding. Can you have an outdoor wedding during that time of year or season when you want to have it? Or will the elements, you know, maybe you want a fall wedding where the leaves are changing colors or a spring wedding where there are cherry blossoms. Will you be able to experience the place in the way you want to? during the wrong time of year. So all things to think about as you're planning. And I hope these tips have been helpful. I wish you the very best in your wedding planning. I know it's not an easy road, but it is well worth it when you have the wedding that you dreamt of. So all the best, like, comment, subscribe, and look forward to seeing you in the next one.